What is going on, High Area Sports? And you already know where we're at. We are back at the Oakland Coliseum, Ring Central Coliseum, to give it its actual uh, branded name. But we are here. Um, we're going to watch the A's take on the Mariners today. On the mound for the Mariners is going to be Robbie Ray. And today we have our famous Frankie Motas, who is our ace. So we're going to see how we play. Honestly, you know, we're not great. Neither is Seattle. They have like a 31 and 39 record and we are horrible. I think we're like 23 and uh, 48, but it should still be a very, very fun ball game. We are always very competitive with Seattle. So it's always usually a pretty good game. So let's check it out. All right, so we just got in the gate. Got in from like the BART overpass over here, but that's where we got in. Not a very exciting entryway, but it's cool. Are we an old ballpark, but we made some additions. We got a nice little garden here. Takes us right here to the, the stomping ground and the outfield plaza. So this is where we caught it. We got in. And we all listen to some Kanye right here. Well, let's go down, see if we could see some guys warming up. Oh man, gotta love it. Look at how bland these walls are. But hey, this is what cookie cutter stadiums used to look like back in the day like this, very bland, and not really much to it. But hey, remember, don't miss a pitch. Now, obviously the A's, you know, haven't been very good recently, but we still have history. So I want you guys to put some respect on our name when you say the Oakland Athletics. The greats right here. One of the other entrances here, you guys, this is going to be the, the Seagate. Where you can kind of get in. It's one of the, one of the main gates. Take your ass to this side. And let's see. There's some security right down there. There's more of Wednesday day game. Nice day out. I do like the amount of the turnout of the crowd. It's a teacher appreciation day today here in the Coliseum. So, you know gonna take a look hey man do you mind if I just get some images down there thank you guy was cool enough to let us get some images so I'm gonna walk down here and see if we can get some more close-ups for y'all great day to be at the ballpark look at it wonderful day clear day not a cloud in sight got a little bit of some uh, nice warm-up ball going on getting some toss and one of our uh, pitchers, Jensen, going on. I think that's Christian Bethencourt right there, our rookie catcher. Let's get it going. Right there, guys, that's our ace, Frankie Motos, walking right over to the pitcher's mound to get some tosses. Awesome. This is exactly the footage we want. Him and Beth and Core are going to get familiar for the game. And let's see what's up. Motas and Beth and Core getting some toss. Boom. That was a ball. <laughs> Over here, guys, we got some Oakland A's hitters warming up. We got Seth Brown right there warming up. Sheldon Noisy right behind him. Got Chad Pender over there stretching. We still warming up. Got our, our boy Ramon Lariano right over there. And then we got Christian Pache warming up, our center fielder. All right, you guys, I am like so close to the action here. We are like 20 minutes before the game. I want to see if I can get a ball. I really hope I can get a ball. See if we can get some toss-ups. I got one once as a, as a little kid. I have not gotten one in years and years. So let's see, as they say, if we can get on the board. All right, we just caught that bud ball. Do you want to show it to him? There you go. Good job, Ed. All right, guys, so 
Uh, we got the starting lineups right behind us. Um, I actually caught a ball uh, from one of the hitting coaches, and uh, in the thing, in the video right after this, I gave it to a little kid because you know when I come out to the ballpark and I get a ball as an adult, and all these kids are sitting there waiting. Yeah, they deserve it, man. They have never caught anything like that in their life. Yes, some of Seattle starting lineups right here. And at second base, number 26, Adam Fletcher. The catcher, number 22, Luis Torres. Number 38, Robbie Ray. of the day for you guys on the pod on the vlog. Hope it's a strike. Yeah. He's out. Yeah. What a catch. Alright, right now my favorite player is on the on the A's is batting. And we're gonna see what happens here. Top of the first. And take your base, bro. Take your base. We beat Robbie Ray the last time I was watching this at home. We're gonna beat him again today. And then here we are, Christian Bethencourt. You guys, this is who we were watching uh, during warmups. Our boy just hit a base knock, you feel me? And he got us on the board. Hell yeah. Look at that thing, a little base knock. Woo, yeah. Yeah, man, we gave him the luck. All right, guys, I literally bought these tickets for $11 off of game time. Um, and in the Coliseum, like, I'm not even sit, I'm not even going to sit in my seats. My seats are, like, crazy over in the outfield. But you really can finesse your way around here and grab some really, really great seats. When there's no fans in baseball, it's awesome to move around, and that's what I definitely do. When it's sold out, you can't do that. But... When it's not a sold out event, you could uh, move out, you, you can basically move around as much as you want. All right, you guys, so this is just a little thing of the Oakland A's. This is just like a little paragraph, you know, like how it started as a team. It's kind of funny how two of our Bay Area teams started in Philadelphia, the Warriors and the A's, actually. And eventually the A's would move off to Kansas City. After they moved off to Kansas City, they would find a nice home here in Oakland. And, you know, these guys have done a great job. Um, and our first professional championship was in 1972. That was obviously a long time ago. And then these were just like the old school guys right here. It's just cool to, you know, look at the history that was. You know, these guys really did... We were really famous back in the day. I don't think a lot of people realize that. They knock them now, but really the A's back in the day were that team. And it just keeps going and keeps going on our 72 World Series championship. Goes all the way to our 73rd, 74th. And it just talks about all the history right here. This is just so awesome. And this is how the Coliseum really used to look without Mount Davis. As you can see, the guys just tumbling each other. But look, the Coliseum looked so much different back in the day. And it was awesome. And I think the A's can get back to this glory here again in Oakland. Hopefully we can get some fan perspective on what they think about everything going on. I think this is a dope picture right here. July 16th, the day before I was born, 20. 22 years before this is the old Yankee Stadium and it looks so much different they definitely added on in the past years after that before they demolished it but look at how crazy it looks these are the A's the old days we got a good old Charlie Finley here and Dick Williams we got a nice little uh, stogie cigarette right there but uh, nowadays that'd be a joint for sure all right, you guys, we changed a little bit of the perspective here. We're honestly right by the, the right side foul pole. And our boy again, 
we saw warming up. Christian Bethencourt is batting. That is the question. Is a hot dog a sandwich? No. Damn, that boy like time. I think he got hit in the nuts. Get a nice little close up. Put my drink down for you guys. That boy, that boy is suffering down there. Oh my god. All right, you guys, we're heading right out here to the left field bleachers, where we have by far the most characters here in the left field bleachers. By far the best guys. Got literally the drummers and everything. Let's see, we're gonna sit right here. Yeah. All right, now we're not gonna say what is going on but we have to understand what is going on. Yeah. Right now, we're literally here at the bottom, sorry, the top of the six. Open, man. What's your uh, perspective on keeping them here in open, man? I'm a lot more positive than I would be a while ago. Okay. I think we're staying. Our vote on uh, the 30th is here. That's awesome. So we'll see what happens. We're gonna stay here. We're hey. Here. And how long have you guys been here in the right field bleachers been doing this stuff? Five. Oh, that's we've awesome, been here guys. For a long time. So, I mean, there's a group though. We've been here for a while. It was a little lighter today, but we're all supposed to be working. I called all sick today and said, so uh, I that. So I I I did work twice. There you go. I'm in the same boat with you guys. Go open. Thank you guys again. Appreciate you. No, uh, thank you guys. Appreciate yeah, you. you. but he threw a no-no through the seventh. Hey, let's win this game! We did the show this in this portion in one of our last vlogs. So this is just everything, this is just continued, but there's certain portions we didn't show in that last vlog. And the one portion is these iconic photos right here, Jason Giambi, and everybody, that's crazy. Um. Got Miguel Tejada. That was the one. I was the one I grew up with. Was Miggy. Miguel Tejada. So you got to understand that. Then we got the 20 game win streak right there. Mark Ellis, Eric Burns. These are just all guys that used to play. Dallas Braden's perfect game. That's what's up. Dallas is a dope dude, bro. All around with everything. And I'll tell you guys that with everything. Then we have that final regular season game where it went to 162 and we won. That was nuts. And we have Sean Manaya. Unfortunately, he's a San Diego Padre right now, but he had that amazing game being the Red Sox. It was awesome. Threw a no hit. That was awesome. And that's what we saw today. Like, at least a no hit through seven. Man, what you think, Stomper? We're going to win? Yeah. We got this. There we are. Respect. Bill, you stopper. Thank you. All right, guys. Unfortunately, that's the end of the game. That's how it is. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of a vlog of a high area sports. Unfortunately, we lost. Um, you have to be able to take your wins and losses. You know, this week we went to a Warriors parade and we won a championship and you just got to know how to take these. The A's, this is a totally winnable game. Uh, they, we had five hits compared to two. This is what happens when you have a bad team. 
you just have to take your wins and losses, and that's just how it is, unfortunately. So, um, on to the next one. Thank you guys again for uh, subscribing, and we'll see you guys soon.